Hi guys and welcome to today's video. We are going to be talking about a May BoxyCharm item and that is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks and I'm going to talk as I usually do a little bit about this company which I had not heard of before, a bit about the product itself and then give you my thoughts on it because I have been using it for about a week now and I do have some thoughts. So if you don't care about the company stuff, if you want to skip around, timestamps are in the description down below and let's start talking about Brow Gal. Brow Gal is a company that just does stuff for brows. I mean, that should be obvious, but sometimes names can be a little not quite descriptive. We have Canadian Tire here in Canada, and you can buy your household goods, your camping stuff, not just tires there. <laughs> anyway, Brow Gal is what we're talking about today. So it's all brow products and brow services. So not only do they have a full line of products to do your brows with, powders, pencils, uh, highlighters for your brow bone, um, as well as gels, and then also tools such as tweezers and scissors. They also do services. So if you are in the US in one of the places where they have a location, you can go in and they will do your brows for you, you can book service. And interestingly, they also do Skype consultations that you can do. So if you're trying to figure out the right shape, the right color for yourself, you can have a Skype consultation even if you don't live near one of their physical locations. So. It's the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. So of course my first question is, who is Tanya Crooks? Well, Tanya Crooks is a makeup artist, but she started out being trained and did school as a visual artist and transferred that into the makeup artist profession. So in her background, she has worked for Nordstrom, she has worked for uh, Makeup Forever, she did some runways, she's done makeup for films, but brows is sort of where she has staked her claim. So she has been doing this for a number of years. I couldn't find out exactly when the company started, but they do claim to have a lot of celebrities who have had their brows done by Tanya, uh, including Julia Roberts, Megan Fox, Gwyneth Paltrow, Britney Spears. So just a whole bunch of people that kind of make you take notice and go, oh, okay, you are, you know, in the LA scene and people are coming to you to get their brows done. And that adds a bit of credibility to the company. As far as the uh, prices for the products go, they're pretty middle line, like above drugstore, but maybe below Sephora, except for a few standout products here and there. So if you're buying their brow pencils, if you're buying their gel or the highlighter, they're all in sort of that 20 to $25 range, maybe up to 28 uh, for some of the tools like the scissors and that sort of thing. Uh, this is $35, which seems a little out of whack with the rest of their pricing. Um, and then the stuff that seems really out of whack is they have a couple of products that are specifically to help you grow your brows more. So there is a oral supplement, like a vitamin supplement that is about $50, which I'm always a little hesitant of people who are beauty people doing vitamins and supplements because it's not really their strong point and I've never taken any of these. I mean, if they're just vitamins, it's not such a big deal. I do know some stuff that has like biotin in it can be good for hair, but bad for skin. In any case, I would suggest you do your own research before you take any um, beauty oral supplements. But then they also have a brow serum, which almost looks very much like a mascara to put on your brows to encourage them to grow. And that is $95, which is crazy because I can't imagine it would last you that long. And that is a huge price for something that is supposed to help your brows grow. But I mean, does it? Has it really been tested? But in any case, the most of the things that you would go to the brow gal for, such as, you know, your pencils, your powders, that sort of thing, they're all kind of in that 20 to $25 range. They do have a very nicely designed website and web presence. Uh, and I'll tell you a few of the pros and cons that I thought of. One of the pros of the um, site and of their web presence is they have a lot of tutorials and I find that to be really helpful. So all kinds of video tutorials, not too long. Um, they have a video tutorial on how to tell what pencil color will go with your features, with your hair, and then tell you which pencil that they produce will go best for you. So they do color matching. They talk about how to fill in your brows. They do sort of how to do measurements on your face to see where your brow should start and stop and where the art should be. Different information about brow shapes, things like that. And they very much talk about brows being a very unique thing. So you can't just, they sort of diss a few times buying stencils and trying to, you know, do your brows that way because brows should be very much according to the proportions of your face. I also quite like that they are very straightforward in their products and when I say that I mean there are like you know four or five actual cosmetics products that they have, a handful of tools, and then a couple of these supplement type products but it's not the kind of thing where there's you know 
50 products and you have to try to figure out which ones will work together and what you should get it's pretty straightforward in terms of the products that they sell and i like that it means that as a beginner you can sort of watch one of their tutorials see the color matching go and get the product for yourself and then be able to follow a tutorial and use it and i like how straightforward and beginner friendly that is if I'm talking about cons for their web presence and their company presence, the first would be that this product, I'm assuming it's a new product, but this powder pomade product is not in any of their tutorials. Like it doesn't look like they use it. So it kind of makes you wonder why they came out with this if it doesn't look like anything that they recommend using. Basically every tutorial is using their micro pencil to fill in your brows and then they use, you know, a spoolie to brush they use a gel to set and then they use the brow bone highlighter above and below. Every tutorial I watched, unless I missed one, none of them use a product like this. So I think if you're planning on releasing a product, especially a slightly pricier product that you want people to buy, you should really integrate this into some of your tutorials because otherwise I'm not sure why I would buy it if I just went to your website and was watching tutorials. The second con that I have to mention is unless you are a white girl, you're not gonna see yourself represented on their website. And I don't mean that their products aren't going to work for you because they do have products for people with, um, you know, all different hair colors and that sort of thing. But in all of their tutorials, in all of the web presence, in everything that they show, and even when they're doing the color matching, like they show like six different girls, also all girls, but six different girls with the six different like hair colors to match your brows to, all of them are, you know, either white or very fairly fair skinned. No black girls, no Asian girls, nothing like that. And I just think that's a bit of an oversight for a company to not be very inclusive when people are looking at your web presence. Let's get into talking about the products themselves. So in the BoxyCharm subscription that we got, we got the Brow Gal uh, product here, which is Convertible Brow. Interestingly, it is Convertible Brow 02, which is for brown hair. So it sort of makes me think that if you have very fair light hair, this isn't really going to work for you. Um, it says it's a wet dry convertible powder and pomade duo. So if you look at the container that it came in, I quite like the packaging on it. It's sort of black on black packaging um, that says brow gal, you open it up, it has a mirror there. I don't understand why the sticker in the mirror is um, mirror image, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but, and then you get three fairly good sized pans of product. And you get three very different tones of products in here. And what I've done is some swatches here to show you the tones. The first one there is very warm toned. And again, if you're wondering which one to use, they do have good tutorials on their website about what makes you more warm toned and what makes you more ashy toned. So the first one is quite warm. The second one is very ashy. Uh, and the third one is quite neutral and dark. So if you have black hair or very dark hair, but there is a nice mix of the different shades there. Now they say that you can use it dry as a powder or wet as a pomade. In the swatches, I only showed you um, how it looked dry using their brush that came with the kit. Um, I didn't show up because I actually tested it wet and I found there to be very little difference, both in terms of how the product looked when I applied it, but also in terms of staying powder. <laughs> power, not powder. You cannot rub this product. It's going to come off. And as somebody who has fairly thick brows, it's not a problem to me because I'm just using it to sort of fill, not to draw in brows. So if it rubs a little during the day and fades a bit, it's not going to be a big deal. If you're somebody who is very much drawing in your brows, you might be looking for a product that has a little bit more staying power than this. Now in our BoxyCharm subscription, we also got the Brow Gal basically spoolie and um, little flat angled brush here. This counted as a BoxyCharm product. We get five products, five full-size products generally in BoxyCharm subscriptions. Uh, so it felt a little, I felt a little unimpressed that this counted as one of the products. And also they say this is a $15 product. I mean, it's a spoolie and yes, this actually is a very nice um, flat angled brush. I just don't know that it's a $15 product. I think sometimes they say these are worth a little bit more than they are to put them into the BoxyCharm subscription and raise the price a little bit. So as far as what I think of the product, I do have some thoughts on it. I am wearing it on my brows today. I like this product. Um, 
I have not had a lot of experience with brow powders before. Basically, the only brow powder I have is the one in the NYX 3-in-1 brow pencil, and it is very thick. It's almost like putting powder on with like a fat pencil. So you don't have the ability to do little lines with it the way you do with this brush and this product. Um, for me, I quite like that there's the three different tones. My hair color changes depending on when I'm dyeing it and that sort of thing. So I like that I can do a little bit darker, a little bit more warmer tones, a little bit ashier. I find it makes it look a little bit more natural, sort of putting in different tones, brushing it through. I tend to do a darker line just right underneath to define my brow and then use the ashy and redder tones up into my brow a little bit more. So I like that there are the three different tones because I think it gives you the ability to make your brows look a little bit more realistic. Um, for me, I like this, uh, as I said, because I'm just filling my brows. So it gives me the ability to do that in a way that looks very um, natural and not too harsh. If I just sort of fill in with little lines and brush through, I get enough to fill in any gaps define the eyebrows a little bit more, and this has been all that I've been reaching for in the last week since I received it. I do see going back to this over and over again. As I mentioned before, if you are somebody who has very sparse brows and you're pretty much giving yourself brows using product, I'm not sure this is going to be for you because it doesn't have a huge amount of staying power if you happen to rub it uh, or anything like that, which is possibly more of a concern if you're not just using it to fill. Totally just realized after filming this entire video, I never put mascara on. That's why I'm looking a little weird today. Great. I also think that if you receive this and you are interested much with the contour palette that I also reviewed this month in getting some natural eye looks, these are pretty good as eyeshadows. They are a little patchy, especially the darkest color, but I do find they are not too powdery. There's no fallout from them at all. And I've been able to do some nice you know, lid and sort of dark crease shades with some of the lighter shades here. And because there are different tones of it, it works nicely in that way as well. Would I say this is a buy? I think that this is probably a little overpriced for what it is. I think there are some good brow powder products at the drugstore through NYX, through some other things like that. I think if you get a good angled brush and, you know, a brow powder that matches you. I'm not sure if it needs to be expensive and high-end if it does the job. Uh, I think that if they decide to move this into the price range of their other products, maybe into the $25 price range rather than the $35 price range, it would become a bit more of a value. I think this is a little bit overpriced for what it is. But I do think it's a good product if you are interested in filling in your brows, if you liked having different tones to play with. Um, it's a good brow powder and it also works nicely as eyeshadows. So that is my review for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this, there's probably a thumbs up button down below. If you click it, it makes me happy. <laughs> if you would like to do that. Uh, if you enjoyed this review and want to see other reviews from me, I tend to do them about three days a week. You can click on my face, which is probably appearing right about here right now. Uh, if you're interested in seeing the review that I did of the NYX 3-in-1 pencil that was part of a drugstore haul, I will put that up here. And also I'll just put another of my older videos here in case you want to go and watch it. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!